Hello, hello. Phoenix17 introduced a new two-form protocol and helper that is really cool and I want to show you why. So let's take a look at this form that I have. We have a simple form for a post has a title and a body. We can say some title here, the return of the king. There we go. Type in some body. We create this. It would redirect us to a different page, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to show you that. That's fine. The interesting thing is we can also handle errors, right? Typically we have some validation. In this case, the body can be blank, but the return of the king remains there. So standard form, let's take a look at the implementation. Typically in Phoenix, when you generate something uh, out of the box, you would be dealing with chain sets. So the way we look at this, let's take a look at this. We have a simple form. This comes from the Phoenix core components. These get generated with your app. Um, so nothing new there, but the interesting thing is we're passing this form assign, right? And it has a title and a body. So if we look at our mount, you might be expecting here to have a chain set. And this is the cool thing. We're using this two form helper and it's a protocol and it works with chain sets. So you could do generate a chain set, pass it to two form, and that transforms the chain set into an HTML form, a Phoenix HTML form struct that understands how to be rendered by the form component. But it's a protocol, so it's not only implemented for chain sets, it's also implemented for maps. And in this case, we can just define the couple of form fields that we have here. We have a title and a body. So we pass that map to form and that understands the protocol, it can generate the, the correct form for our simple form. So that's pretty cool. But of course, one of the really cool benefits of chain sets is errors, like the error handling and all that stuff. But you saw that our form is handling errors. So how are we doing that? Let's take a look at the handle event save callback. And when we do that, you know, we go ahead and create our blog post and ignore the success case for this for, for now, because it's not really important, but the errors is what we're interested in. So in this error case, typically you would get a chain set back, right? Now, sometimes I don't like that because then our UI knows about a chain set, which also is all the way down to our database. And sometimes it's nice to separate those. And that's why I like this other approach. So we have the errors here and underneath the hood, these are just chain set errors. But all you need to do is these errors need to have the format that is something like this title can't be blank. Right? So all it's doing is matching the error to one of the form fields that we had. Right, so if those errors come through, we are giving those parameters, the parameters that came in. And so that's the title and body that we just tried to save. So we, we do a two form with those parameters. And then as an option, we pass in those errors. And that generates a correct HTML form so that it can be rendered with this simple form and the form components from Phoenix. I think this is really cool and a nice way to separate your UI from the chain set that might be dealing with persistent logic. I hope you like it.